minus sine theta y is equal to a 1 plus cos theta 1 plus cos theta okay so we need to find d square y by dx square here we need to find this so most of the students has uh, done this question incorrectly please check here first of all you need to differentiate this with respect to theta so here you will get a 1 minus cos theta then you will find dy by d theta which is equal to a 0 minus sine theta so that means dy by d theta is equal to d theta is equal to minus a sin theta okay we need to find dy by dx so this is equal to dy by d theta by dx by d theta so dy by d theta means minus a sin theta dx by d theta means a into 1 minus cos theta so a will cancel out so you will get here minus sin theta by 1 minus cos theta so dy by dx is equal to uh, put this formula sin theta 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2 and in the denominator we have 2 sin square theta by 2 so 2 will cancel out here this sign this will cancel out so we will get minus what theta by 2 okay next we need to find d square y by dx square so what we will do we have this d y by dx is equal to minus cot theta by 2 okay so d y minus cot theta by 2 we will again differentiate this so this is equal to what minus first of all differentiate this cot theta by 2 with respect to theta by 2 then theta by 2 with respect to theta then d theta by dx okay because we are differentiating this with respect to x so d square y by dx square this is equal to minus here we have minus cosec square cosec square theta by 2 here we have 1 by 2 and here we have d theta by dx so you will get here d square y by dx square this is equal to cosec square theta by 2 okay 1 by 2 into d theta by dx we will put this value this one okay so d theta by dx will be what 1 by 1 minus 1 by a 1 minus cos theta 1 minus cos theta so d square y by dx square is equal to so we will write 1 by 2 a here we have cosec square theta by 2 and here we have 1 by this is 2 sin square theta by 2 so this will give you d square y by dx square is equal to 1 by 4 a okay sin square will go in the numerator and this will become cosec to the power 4 theta by 2 so i hope now this is clear to everyone okay so if you wish you can note down this or we can start the application of derivative okay uh shall we uh, shall i start application derivative uh, this question I have given in the test last time. Okay, uh, but most of you have done this incorrectly. That's why I have solved this right now. Okay, so I'm going to start application of derivative. Uh, yesterday, most of the students were absent. Atif, uh, what was the issue? Yes, sir, I was traveling. Okay, okay. Uh, Seth, you were absent yesterday. Yes, sir. Okay, what was the issue? We had a function in the house. Okay, okay, okay. So, did you check the recorded lectures? Not yet, sir. Not yet. Please check it, okay? We have already started the increasing and decreasing function. And uh, right now, we are doing the questions. Noma, you were absent yesterday? Yes, sir. I was not at home. 
Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so we will do a quick revision. Okay. So uh, the detail you can see from the recorded lectures, from yesterday recorded lecture. Okay. Uh, so we were doing the increasing and decreasing function. So first is strictly increasing function. What is mean by strictly increasing function? Suppose you have a function like this. So you can see here as the value of x is increasing, the value of fx, oh, this is a function of x, this is why. So you can see as the value of x is increasing, the fx is also getting increase. Okay, so that's why we will say that this function is strictly increasing function. Okay, now next is increasing function. What is increasing function? Suppose we have a, you have a function like this. A function is increasing, then it become a constant, then it again increase, then it become a constant. So such type of function is called the increasing function, which increase, but there is certain interval in which the function will become constant like this. So I hope all of you understood the difference between the strictly increasing and the increasing function. Okay, strictly increasing con uh, increase continuously, increasing increase, then become a constant, then again increase and like this. Then we have a strictly decreasing function. So what is a strictly decreasing function? For example, this one. So here you can see this, that as the value of x is increasing, okay, thus this value decrease. Please check here. Here at this value of x, the function has the value this one. And after this, it become, it decreases. So that's why we will say that this is a strictly decreasing function because it decreases continuously. The same thing with the decreasing function. So for example, decreasing will be like this. It will decrease and become constant. Again, decrease, again, become a constant. So such type of function are called the decreasing function. Okay, hope this is clear to everyone that what is the difference between strictly increasing and strictly decreasing. And please check the yesterday recorded lectures because uh, we have done this topic in detail yesterday. Okay, then we have a function which is neither increasing nor decreasing. So it is like this. For example, if you have a function like this, which increase like this one, then it decrease, then it again increase, then again decrease. So the complete function is neither increasing nor decreasing. Okay, because it increase up to certain point, then again it start decreasing, then again increase. So such type of functions are called are neither increasing nor decreasing. Okay, now we have the theorem that how can we check that the function is strictly increasing or not. So if a function is strictly increasing, then the derivative will be greater than zero. Okay, so why it this derivative is greater than zero? Uh, please check this function. For example, this is a strictly increasing function. If at this point we will draw a tangent, if at this point we will draw a tangent, okay, then this tangent is making an acute angle with the x-axis. Theta is acute. Theta is acute. We know that slope is given by tan theta. So if the theta is acute, tan theta will be greater than zero. In differentiability, we have already done that f dash x represents the slope of the tangent. Okay, so for this one is strictly increasing, f dash x will be greater than zero. So we need to remember this result that for strictly increasing, f dash x will be greater than zero. Next, oh, okay. Now, next we will check for strictly decreasing. If at this point we will draw a tangent like this, okay, this is the theta. This is obtuse. If it is obtuse, then tan theta is less than zero. Okay, if theta is obtuse, then tan theta will be less than zero. And if it is less than zero, we can say that f dash x is less than zero. So, strictly decreasing, derivative will be less than zero. Now, we will check for increasing only increasing so what is happening in increasing this is getting uh, here the value of fx is increasing it become constant here so if we will find the slope of tangent for this point up to this one so we will get an acute angle but for this one we will get a line which is parallel to x-axis hence the slope is zero so at this point f dash x will be equal to zero so for increasing function our condition will be f dash x greater than as well as equal to zero for strictly increasing we have this condition f dash x greater than zero 
for increasing f dash x is greater than e greater than equal to zero. Same thing with strictly decreasing. Here the f dash x is less than zero. For decreasing f dash x is less than equal to zero. Okay, so please remember these uh, these points. So the same thing I've written here that if f is strictly increasing, then this is greater than zero. Decreasing less than zero. Constant. If a function is constant like this, then f dash x is equal to zero. Next is increasing greater than equal to zero, less than equal to zero. And remember this point that if a function is strictly increasing, then we will say that it is also increasing. But it is not true that if a function is increasing, then it will be strictly increasing also. Okay, because in increasing, we have taken a zero uh, condition of zero also. Okay, so please, uh, Atif, Saf, take out the uh, take the screenshot of this and Uma, so that we can check the questions. Okay, yesterday we have tried some question. Again, we will do some questions today, and you have a test of continuity and differentiability today. Uh, please take the screenshot of this. Is it done? Noba, Saf, Atif. Okay, Noba, good. Atif and Saf, is it done? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Atif, is it done? Okay. Now, we will try some questions. So, this we sir, have. Please, order. Please. Okay, okay. okay. Yes. Okay. okay, okay, good. So, some questions we have already done. Uh, Nabil Ahmed and Nabil Khan, uh, did we complete this question? Question number third? Yes, sir. No or yes? Third one. Yes, sir. We did the third one. Okay, we have done the third one. Okay. Then please, then please try this one. Nabil, Ahmed and Nabil Khan, please try this one, okay? And yes, in the meantime, I will solve another question. Just, just give me a minute, okay? Affix is equal to two x cubed plus sine x squared. Okay, uh, Nabil Ahmed and Nabil Khan, please complete this question. In the meantime, I will explain this question to everyone. Uh, so, Atif, Saf, and Noma, please check. The question is, uh, we need to find the interval in which this function is strictly increasing and strictly decreasing. Okay, we need to find the interval in which this function is strictly increasing strictly increasing and strictly decreasing and strictly decreasing so please check the steps the steps are very simple first of all differentiate this function so what you will get here 6x square plus 18x plus 12 now dash x is equal to take out 6 common so you will get a x square plus 3x plus 2 Okay, now factorize it. So you will get 6 and here you will get x square plus 2x plus x plus 2. Now dash x it is equal to 6. Okay, take out common x plus 2 plus 1 x plus 2. Now dash x it is equal to 6. Okay, it is x plus 1 x plus so we get this one f dash x is equal to 6 into x plus 1 into x plus 2. Now, what you need to do, you need to find the critical points. Okay. So put f dash x is equal to 0. So you will get 6 into x plus 1. x plus 2 is equal to 0. So from this, we can say x plus 1 is equal to 0, which will give us x is equal to minus 1. 
x plus 2 is equal to 0, this will give us x is equal to minus 2. Okay. So, once you have differentiated it, equate that with 0 to find the critical points. What are the critical points? These are those points for which your derivative of fx is 0. Okay. Or not defined. So that means if you have a question like this, x plus 2 by x plus 1 is, then you need to separately equate, you have to separately equate the numerator and denominator with the 0. Okay. So if you are if you are uh, equating the numerator with 0, you will get x is equal to minus 2. Similarly, if you are equating denominator with 0, you will get a minus 1. Okay. So separately, you need to equate it with 0. Okay, so these are the critical points which we have find out. Now, what we need to do, draw this number line right here, minus infinite, right here, infinite, and plot the points. Points are minus 2 and minus 1. Okay, so you have these intervals. This is the first interval, this is the second interval, and this is the third interval. Okay, so you get three interval. Now you need to check in these three interval, your function is strictly increasing or strictly decreasing. So what you need to do, just make this table. Okay, if this question is clear, then you can do rest of the questions. Here we have the interval. Okay. Here we have sine of f dash x. Sine of f dash x. And this is the nature of the function. Nature of the function. Okay. So what is the interval you have? Interval is minus infinite to minus 2. Minus infinite to minus 2. Minus 2 to minus 1. Minus one two plus infinite. Minus one two plus infinite. So if you are finding this strictly increasing or strictly decreasing, take the open interval. Infinite will always be in the open interval. Okay. Now minus inf now check what was the f dash x we have. It was six into x plus one into x plus two. Okay. So this we have. Now take any point between minus infinite and minus 2. Atif, uh, give me a point between minus infinite and minus 2. And Darshan, uh, you have joined late. Please be on time from the next class. Atif, give me a point minus between one. minus 1. No, minus 1 does not lie between minus Sir, I said minus 4. Minus 4. Okay, okay. Then uh, Atif, put this point here, minus 4. This will be negative or positive? Negative. Good. This will be negative. And what about the next one? It's also negative. This is also negative. So negative into negative is positive. So this means this will be greater than zero. Okay. And we know that if it is greater than zero, then the nature of the function is strictly increasing. Okay. Now, between minus 2 and minus 1, for example, we are taking a point uh, minus 1.5. We are taking minus 1.5. So put this minus 1.5 here. What you will get? Negative. If you will put minus 1.5 here, you will get a positive. So it is negative. It is positive. So this is less than 0. That's why it is strictly decreasing. Strictly decreasing. Now next one, minus 1 to infinite, for example, we are taking 5 here. So this will become positive. This is also positive. So this is greater than 0. So this means it's strictly increasing. Strictly increasing. Okay. So that means for these two intervals, the function is strictly increasing. So we will write like this.
right like this minus infinite to minus two union okay because we need both the results minus one to plus infinite affix is strictly increase affix is strictly increasing and for the next interval minus two to minus one affix is strictly decreased okay so this is a method to solve such type of questions you need to find the critical points then you need to draw this table and you need to check the sign please note down this and let me know uh, okay please note down this and start this question before okay nabil ahmed and nabil khan is it done question number four nabil ahmed is it done no sir no okay then i will solve it okay nabil khan is it done no sir okay 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 Saf, Numa, Atif, please note down this, raise your hand, then we will start the next question. Sir, X is one and three. X is one and three. Uh, okay, Nabil, I will check it. Okay. No mind, sir. Uh, please let me know if it is done. Then I will change the slide. Okay, no more. Seth, is it done? No, I mean, okay. Done, sir. Okay, okay. Now, please uh, complete this and raise your hands. Uh, Noma and Seth, is it done? Okay, Arthur. Okay, Noma. Seth, is it done? Um, okay.
यस सर ओके सर सो ऑल ऑफ यू प्लीज ट्राई दिस क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्थ आई विल गिव यू थ्री मिनट्स फॉर दिस देन आई विल सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन दर्शन प्लीज ट्राई दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर So I got excess zero and one. Okay, Adif. Uh, then please form my interval, and let me know uh, in which interval it is increasing or decreasing. okay uh please uh, do a correction it is strictly okay it is strictly increase strictly increasing or strictly decrease uh i'm not sure uh, how many students have completed this but please check the method to find the critical points adif please check here your answer is incomplete fx is equal to x plus 1 whole cube x minus 1 whole cube okay differentiate it so first apply the product rule there are two functions which are getting multiplied so this function will remain as it is we will differentiate this function x minus 1 whole cube with respect to x plus x minus 1 whole cube into derivative of x plus 1 whole cube with respect to x so here you will get a dash x it is equal to x plus 1 whole cube and here you will get 3 into x minus 1 whole square okay plus it is x minus 1 whole cube and here you will get 3 into x plus 1 whole square so f dash x this is equal to take common so here you have 3 into x plus 1 whole cube into x minus 1 whole square plus here you have 3 into x minus 1 whole cube x plus 1 whole square so f dash x is equal to a common 3 x plus 1 whole square and x minus 1 whole square okay take out this common so here you will get x plus 1 and here you will get x minus 1 so 
एफ डैश एक्स इज इक्वल टू थ्री इन टू एक्स प्लस वन होल स्क्वेयर एक्स माइनस वन होल स्क्वेयर एंड हेयर वन विल कैंसिल आउट सो यू विल गेट ए टू एक्स सो फाइनल वी आर गेटिंग दिस वन एफ डैश एक्स इज इक्वल टू सिक्स इन टू एक्स एक्स प्लस वन होल स्क्वेयर एक्स माइनस वन होल स्क्वेयर ओके नबील आई विल चेक इट शॉर्टली ओके नाउ वी गेट दिस डेरिवेटिव नाउ पुट एफ डैश एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो यू विल गेट सिक्स एक्स इन टू एक्स प्लस वन होल स्क्वेयर इन टू एक्स माइनस वन होल स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो फ्रॉम दिस यू विल गेट सिक्स एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो दिस मीन्स From this, you will get six x is equal to zero. So this will you will get x is equal to zero. Now next one, x plus one whole square. X plus one whole square is equal to zero. This means x is equal to minus one. Next is x minus one whole square is equal to zero. So you will get x is equal to one. So critical points are. critical points are x is equal to 0 minus 1 and 1 okay so how many interval you will get here this is minus infinite this is plus infinite you have minus 1 you have 0 you have 1 so you have first this interval second this interval third this interval and fourth this interval now you have four intervals please from that table and tell me in which interval it is strictly increasing in which interval it is strictly decreasing okay please complete uh please let me know if i need to change the slide okay okay so anabil uh, uh let me check your answer so you are getting minus infinite we have this minus infinite plus infinite minus 1 0 and 1 so plus okay so it's strictly increasing you are uh, get minus infinite to minus no nabil i guess your answer is not correct you have missed zero okay we have zero also as a critical points so nabil uh please again check the complete interval for which interval it is strictly increasing and decreasing yes
anyone uh, get the answer? Uh, no, sir, it is not possible. Okay. Anyone else who get the answer? Critical points I have already find out. You just need to check the interval. Okay. So, Atif minus infinite to minus one, union zero to one. No, why union minus one to zero? No. Union zero to one. Okay. Next is strictly increasing. No, it is not correct. Uh, yes, no, my strictly increasing from minus infinite to minus one, then one to inf. No. Let me solve this. Okay. So we have find out the critical points. We have the interval. We just need to check the intervals now. So here we have the interval. So what are the intervals we have here? Minus infinite to minus one. Always remember infinite or minus infinite always open interval. If it is strictly increasing or strictly decreasing, take the critical points in open interval. Minus one to zero, zero to one, one to plus infinite. Next is sine of the function, sine of derivative of fx. We need to check the sign. Then we have third, nature of the function. Nature of the function. Of the function. Okay. Now minus infinite to minus one. Uh, Noma, give me a point between minus infinite and minus one. Minus two. Uh, minus two, okay. So we have this function 6x, six 6x, x, six x, x plus 1 whole square. Then we have x minus 1 whole square. Okay, x minus 1 whole square. So you have taken minus 2 normal. So because of minus 2, this part will be negative. This is a square, this always remain positive. This is a square, this always remain positive. So finally, we will get a negative. So here we will write negative, positive, positive. So this will give us negative, which is less than zero, strictly decreasing. Strictly decreasing. Okay. Next, minus one to zero. Give me a point between minus one to zero. Nabil Ahmed. Any point between minus one and zero? Uh, minus 0 0.5. Minus 0 0.5, good. So we will put a minus 0 0.5 here. So what will happen? This will give us negative. Again, the bracket is positive and positive. So here we have negative, positive and positive. Okay, this is again less than zero. Okay, because of a square, we are getting strictly decreased. Okay. So I will again check your answer. Next is zero to one. Nabil Ahmed, give me a point between zero and one. 0 0.5. 0 0.5. So what will happen? This is positive, this is positive, this is positive. So positive, positive, and positive. So it is greater than zero. So it's strictly increasing. Strictly increasing. Okay. Next, we have 1 to infinite. So we can take, for example, 10. So this is positive, 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 greater than 0. So it is strictly increasing. 
strictly increasing okay so let me again check the answers Mm, at if you are getting minus infinite minus one union minus one to strictly decreasing and zero to one one to infinite good at if i'm sorry okay your answer is correct noma is strictly increasing at no noma please again check your answer nabil ahmed is it clear now yes sir okay great darshan saf nabil khan noma please raise your hands yes sir. Disc... okay yes good. sir okay good Noma is okay, Noma. Very good. So, Darshan, is it clear? Okay, great. So, please, all of you, note down this. Again, raise your hand so that we can start the next question. Okay, Noma, very good. Uh, rest of you, please uh, raise your hands if it is done so that we can start. Okay, Nabil, good. Darshan, Saif, Nabil Khan, is it done? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Darshan and Saif, is it done? Done, sir. Okay, good. Darshan? Shall we start next? Okay, great. Now next one. Uh, this question is homework. Okay, because this is not a complicated question. It is just a very lengthy question because we have a power to the x to the power 4. Okay. So if you will differentiate it, you will get a cube and then again you need to factorize it. So please note down this question. This you have to do in homework. We will check another question. Okay, I will write the answer for you. Strictly increasing. Strictly increasing. Okay, it is 1 to 2. Union 3 to infinite. Okay, this is strictly increasing and strictly decreasing. Strictly decreasing. Uh, it is two comma three union minus infinite to one. Okay, so please note down this question, and this is your answer. Please uh, cross check your answer once you complete it. Okay, this is a homework. In case you will face an issue, then we can discuss. But this is a very simple question. You just need to factorize it. Okay, so I will just give you uh, one minute to note down this, then we will start a new question. Please raise your hands once it is done. Okay, Nabil, very good. Okay, Atif, good. Okay, Noma. Darshan, Saf. Is sir. it done? Okay, Darshan, is it done? Okay, great. Yes, please try this question. This is a very, very good question. Please try this. And uh, let me know if anyone have a doubt in this one.
Uh, anyone uh, got the critical points? Uh, anyone uh, get a critical point here? 0 to 90, no, no, ma, this is not correct. Anyone else get a critical point? Here, uh, we need the concept of trigonometry, which you have done in class 11th. Okay. And I hope uh, the basic concept uh, you all know. Please check here. Uh, we have a fx is equal to sine x plus cos x. And this is 0 to 2 pi. So anyone can tell me that, that this x lie in which quadrant? All of you, please check here. We are going to find the critical point. But before that, we need to check that x lie in which quadrant. Anyone can tell me? Any idea, any guess that x will lie in which quadrant? Sir, first point. Uh, not only first. Anyone else? Yes, Noma, that's that's correct. Very good. All four coordinates. Please check here. 0 to 2 pi. X is greater than or equal to 0. This is 0. Okay, this is 0. This we have a pi by 2. This we have a pi. This we have a 3 pi by 2. And then we have a 2 pi. So they are saying that x is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 2 pi. Okay, so that means all the four coordinates. I hope this is clear to everyone. Okay, all the four coordinates. So the value of x lie between uh, in all the four coordinates. Now we will differentiate it f dash x is equal to cos x minus sin x. So this is the derivative. We will put this f dash x is equal to 0 is equal to 0. So this will give us what? Cos x minus sin x is equal to 0. Shift any term to the right side. So we will shift this cos x to the right side. We will get a minus cos x. Cancel out this negative. So what we will get here, sin x is equal to cos x is equal to cos x. We can write into 1 here. Okay, cos x into 1 is again cos x. So now here cos x is getting multiplied with 1. So what will happen? It will. We can shift this cos six in the denominator because it is getting multiplied with one. So it will get divide here is equal to one, and sine by cos is equal to tan x is equal to one. Okay. So please raise your hand who understood up to this point, up to this step. All of you, please raise your hand. Okay, Noma. Okay, Atif. Okay, Saf. Nabil Ahmed Darshan, Nabil Khan. Okay, Nabil. Nabil Ahmed and Darshan. Is it clear? Nabil Ahmed and Darshan. This question is clear. Okay. Okay, very good. Then who can tell me? Nabil Ahmed. Nabil, can you tell me? We have a tan x is equal to 1. The value of x is from 0 to 2 pi. Can you tell me what the value of x you will get from this equation tan x is equal to 1? Pi by 2, sir. Pi by 4. Pi by 4. Okay. Everyone should know that tan pi by 4 value is 1. So we will write tan x is equal to 10 pi by 4. x is equal to pi by 4. Now the next question is from Saf. Saf, this x is equal to pi by 4 lie in which coordinate? Sef, this pi by 4 lie in which quadrant? I guess we have... Uh, mm, first one. First one, very good. We have already done the inverse, so you guys tell me the correct answer. In the first quadrant, very good. Pi by 4 will lie here. Sef, we have a 4 quadrant. Please tell me 10 is positive in which quadrant? In first one and third one. Very, very good, Sef. So all of you... The tan is positive in the first quadrant and the third quadrant. Here we have find out the value pi by 4 which lie in the first quadrant. So that means there is one more value which will lie in the third quadrant. So anyone can tell me the angle for which tan is 1 in third quadrant. Angle in third quadrant for which tan is 1. Anyone can tell me this?
एनीवन सर सिर्फ फाइव बाय बाय फाइव बाय बाय फोर वेरी गुड आते हैं वेरी गुड सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन द इनवर्स ओके सो you can tell me the correct answer we have done such type of questions in inverse and the same thing you have already done in class 11 okay so again please check this and let me know if anyone have a doubt here we need the angle in the third quadrant okay so we need a angle for which you will get tan 1 we need a angle for which you will get a tan 1 now here here first find the value in the first quadrant so we get a pi by 4 now we need this angle in the third quadrant so what will happen we will always use pi and 2 pi whenever you need a angle in any quadrant we will use the concept of pi and 2 pi here we need the angle in third quadrant so we will add the pi by 4 in pi so we will write like this tan pi plus pi by 4 uh sorry yeah tan x is equal to okay here in place of 1 i have written this so tan x is equal to this is tan 5 pi by 4 so x is equal to 5 pi by 4 so we get this value x is equal to 5 pi by 4 and x is equal to pi by 4 okay so if you need any angle in the third in any quadrant you will use pi or 2 pi so for example here we need the angle in the third quadrant that's why we have added pi by 4 in pi if we need the angle in second quadrant we will use pi minus pi by 4 if we need the angle in the fourth quadrant we will write 2 pi minus pi by 4 please raise your hand uh, is this clear to all of you basically this is the 11th concept all of you okay saf okay atif okay noma okay darshan okay nabil khan okay i hope so everyone understood this so we get this critical points these are the critical points okay pi by 4 and 5 pi by 4 i i will even uh show you the interval now here we have a zero we don't have a infinite the value of x is from 0 to 2 pi okay then you have find out the critical points so first critical point is pi by 4 and second critical point is 5 pi by 4 so what you get here this one this one and this one okay so uh we will check for these interval that which is strictly increasing and which is strictly decreasing okay so all of you please note down this then form the interval and tell me the final answer sir will the intervals be between 0 and 2 Uh, will you repeat atif sir will the intervals be between 0 and 2 pi or uh, minus infinity and plus infinity no no between 0 and 2 pi okay because in the question it is given 0 to 2 pi
all of you uh, please check the interval okay and let me know if anyone is facing any issue in this question Uh, anyone find out the answer or do I need to solve it? Yes, sir, I found the answer. Okay, Atif, uh, will you please tell me the interval? So the interval? Yeah, in which interval it, it is strictly increasing? Yes, sir, it is strictly increasing in 0, pi by 4, union 5, pi by 4, 2 pi, and decreasing in pi by 4, 5 by 4. Okay, great. All of you, please check here. So here we have the interval. Here we have sine of dash x. Here we have the nature. Nature of the function. Of the function. Okay. So the first, if we will check the interval, we have 0. Here we have 2 pi. Then we find out one point, which is pi by 4. We find one more, which is 5 pi by 4. So we have first this interval, this interval, this interval. Okay, so 0 to pi by 4. Next is pi by 4 to 5 pi by 4. Next is 5 pi by 4 to 2 pi. Okay. Atif, please tell me the 0 will be in closed interval or open interval? Atif, the zero will be in closed interval or open interval? The zero. So open interval. Open, okay. Nabil, Nabil Ahmed, the zero will be in open or close? Open interval, sir. Open. Darshan, the zero will be in open or close? Darshan, zero will be in open or close? Sef, zero will be what? Open or close? Close, sir. Close. Okay. Nabil Khan, zero is close or open? Open, sir. Open. Noma, zero will be close or open? Close. close. Okay. Darshan, uh, will you please let me know? Zero is open or close? Open. Okay. First of all, always remember one thing that if a function is strictly increasing or strictly decreasing, then the critical points, critical points will always be open interval. 
So this is open. 5 pi by 4 is a critical. This is open. Okay. So if a function is strictly increasing or strictly decreasing, the critical point will always be open interval. So you can see here. Next, if we will check the quotient, then in the quotient it is saying x is greater than and equal to. Okay. It is not saying only greater than. It is saying x is greater than and equal to. So 0 will be close interval. Strictly increasing, strictly decreasing, critical points will always be open interval. What about the endpoints? That depends on the question. In this question, they have included 0 because in the question they have mentioned x is greater than or equal to 0. So that's why we will include 0. Similarly, in the question, they have given 2 pi also included. Okay, if you will check the question, then here we have x is less than or equal to 2 pi. So it is also close. So for this pi by 4, 5 pi by 4, we have the open interval. For 0 and 2 pi, we have the close interval. Okay. So Noma and Seth, very good. Your answer is correct. Now sign of this derivative. What was f dash x? If we will check this f dash x, this we have cos x minus sin x. Okay. Cos x minus sin x. Now we need to check this. First is 0 to pi by 4. Noma, uh, can you tell me any angle between 0 and pi by 4? Noma, any angle 0 and pi by 4 means 45 degree. So any angle for of which you know the value? 30? Yes, okay, so we will take 30 here. For this one, we will check for 30. So 0 to pi by 4, if we will put here cos 30. Cos 30 is what? Root 3 by 2. Minus sine 30 is what? 1 by 2. Okay. So root 3 minus 1 by 2. So this will give us a positive. This will give us positive answer. So this is greater than 0. Strictly increase. Strictly increase. Okay. Next is pi by 4 to 5 pi by 4. What is pi by 4? Pi by 4 is 45. It is 45 degree. What is 5 pi by 4? It is uh, it is two twenty five degree. Okay, five pi by four. Then who can tell me, Seth? Seth, any angle between forty five and two twenty five? Sixty. Uh, we can take sixty. Okay, put here sixty cos sixty minus sine sixty. So what you will get? Cos sixty is what one by two. Sin 60 is what? Root 3 by 2. So, Sev, it is positive or negative? Negative. Negative. Very good. It is negative. So, less than 0. We will write strictly decreasing. Strictly decreasing. Okay. Next one. 5 pi by 4 to 2 pi. Uh, who can tell me? Uh, Nabil Ahmed. Nabil Ahmed. 5 pi by 4 is what? 225 and what is 2 pi 360? So give me an angle between 225 and 360. 186. One, no, no, no. 180. Do not lie between this. 300. So. 300. Okay. So what we will do, we have a pi here. We have a 3 pi by 2 and we have this 2 pi. So what we will do, we will take a value 3 pi by 2 because there is a standard, standard angle. We can directly put the value. Okay, so here we have cos x minus sin x. So I will write here cos 3 pi by 2 minus sin 3 pi by 2. So what is cos 3 pi by 2? It is 0 minus what is sin 3 pi by 2 minus 1. So this will give you what? 1 positive. So this is positive greater than 0. Strictly increase. Strictly Increasing. Okay. And we can take any value. We can take 300 also, Nabil. But for 300, we have to do the calculation. So it is your choice. You can take 300 and you can then calculate the value. So we have this strictly increasing. Okay. So we get these intervals and this is the answer. Hope uh, this is clear to everyone. So please note down this and raise your hands once it is done. And if anyone have a doubt, then please let me know. I will again explain this. Okay. But this is a very, very important question. So please note down this and raise your hand.
Okay, Noma, very good. All of you, please raise your hands if it is done so that we can start the next question. Okay, Nabil, very good. All of you, uh, please raise your hands if it is done. So, Nabil and Omar, you have done this. Atif, Darshan, Saf, Nabil Khan, please confirm. Is it done? Okay, Atif. Okay, Nabil. Uh, Saf and Darshan, is it done? Okay, Darshan, Saf, is it done? Yes, sir. Okay, great. So, this is done. Please. Okay. Yes, this is a very, very good question. Please do the first part first. Prove that this function is strictly decreasing in 0 to pi. Okay. So, if we need to prove, then there is no need to find the critical points. Okay. Because they have already given us the interval. So there's no need to find the critical points. You just need to differentiate. I need to check that for this interval zero to pi, your function is strictly decreasing. Or not. Okay, I will do first question. This you need to do on your own. So we have this fx is equal to cos x. Differentiate it. What we will get minus sine x. Okay. Now for interval is zero to pi. For zero to pi, fx is equal to minus sine x is for 0 to pi, sorry, uh, Ceph, Ceph, for 0 to pi, this f dash x is what? Greater than 0 or less than 0? f dash means minus sine x. So minus. Zero. Very good. It is negative. Okay, all of you. From 0 to pi, sin x is positive, but here we have a negative, so this becomes negative. So for 0 to pi f dash x, it is less than 0. Hence, fx is, hence fx is strictly decreasing, is strictly decreasing, is strictly decreasing in 0 to pi. Okay, I hope this is clear to everyone. So if they have already given us the interval, then there's no need to find the critical points. We just need to check the interval. So first question I have already done. So please do the second question. Raise your hands once it is done. Okay, the second one. Uh, please raise your hands if you complete the second part, part B. Oh. 
Okay, Atif, very good. All of you, please. Okay, Noma, good. Then uh, please start the third part, okay, if you have done the second one. So Noma and Atif has completed second. Nabil, Darshan, Saf. Please confirm the second is done. One minute, sir. Okay, okay. Okay, Nabil Ahmed, very good. So Nabil Ahmed, please start the third one. And Darshan, Saif, and Nabil Khan, uh, please confirm me if the second is done. Uh, Darshan, Saif, Nabil Khan, please confirm if you have done the second one. Otherwise, I will solve it. Yes, sir. Done. Okay, great, Saif. Darshan and Nabil Khan, is it done, the second one? Darshan and Nabil Khan, is it done? Okay, Nabil Khan, very good. Darshan, is it done? Uh, Darshan, please check here. So, strictly increasing from pi to pi. So, we can say for pi to 2 pi, sin x is what? Sin x is less than 0. Okay, because this line, the third and fourth quadrant. In third quadrant and in fourth quadrant, the sign is negative. So, this means minus sin x will be greater than 0. Hence, for pi to 2 pi, pi to 2 pi, f dash x is greater than 0, hence it is increasing, hence it is increasing, it is increasing, strictly, sorry, it is strictly increasing, strictly increasing, okay, now check the third point, net increasing, not decreasing, this I have already explained you, okay, from the graph, that if a function is getting increased, and again, and getting decrease also. Then we will say that the function is not, is neither increasing nor decreasing. So you can say here that from 0 to pi, I will write here, third one. From 0 to pi, 0 to pi, fx is, fx is strictly decreasing. Strictly decreasing. From pi to 2 pi, Fx is, Fx is strictly increasing, strictly increasing. Hence, from 0 to 2 pi, Fx is, Fx is neither increasing nor decreasing. Is neither increasing, is neither increasing nor decreasing. Okay, so I hope this is clear to everyone. So third point we have already discussed. If in an interval, the function is getting increased as well as decreased. So we will write that the function is neither increasing nor decreasing. Okay, so please note down this. And uh, okay, then your homework is complete the assignment. We will share the assignment with you, uh, with you till tomorrow. Okay. Homework is assignment two. Assignment two. Okay. Now you have a test of 30 minutes from continuity and differentiability. Please uh, note down this, then we will start the test. Okay. Uh, please raise your hands if it is done so that uh, we can start the test. Darshan, uh, you got disconnected. Please check here. 
from 0 to pi, fx is strictly decreasing. From pi to 2 pi, fx is strictly increasing. Okay, previous. Okay, please check here the second one. For pi to 2 pi, sin x is less than 0 because this line the second and third quadrant. If this is less than 0, then minus sin x will be what? Greater than 0. Okay, and what is this minus sin x? It is f dash x. So we can say for pi to 2 pi, f dash x is greater than 0. Hence, it is strictly increasing. Okay, okay, Darshan. Please note down this Darshan, then we will see the third part. Uh, raise your hand, Darshan, if it is done. So that, okay, okay, good. Uh, Darshan, then please note down this. From 0 to pi, fx is strictly decreasing. From pi to 2 pi, fx is strictly increasing. Okay, that's why we will say for the complete interval, fx is neither increasing nor decreasing. This we have discussed today also from the graph. Okay, so what does this mean? I'm saying if a function is increasing like this and they decrease like this, then from 0 to 2 by, for example, up to here, what uh, will be the nature of the function? Neither increasing nor decreasing because it is increasing as well as decreasing. So neither increasing nor decreasing. Okay, so Darshan, please raise your hand once you noted down the third point, then I will start the test. Uh, is it done, Darshan? Shall we start next? Darshan, is it done? Okay, great. Okay, uh, so please complete the homework and uh, I will just share the test paper with you. Just give me a minute. Okay, uh, everyone, so I'm going to share the test paper. Uh, please start your test. This is of 30, 30 minutes, three questions and 12 marks. Okay, and please share your uh, PDF copy and write your name on the test paper. Uh, sorry, uh, one more thing. 
I'm just sharing the homework status with you all. Okay, please let me know if it is updated. Okay, because I need to share that with your parents. Just, just give me a minute. Okay, so Atif, uh, you have submitted assignment seventh. Uh, I guess sixth. I have not received from you, sir. Atif, please uh, check the status. Yes, okay, okay. Then you have uh, sent the application of derivative assignment one. Noma, you have done up to ninth. Only tenth is remaining. Josefa is not present. Nabil Ahmed. Uh, Nabil, I got uh, up to seven assignment and eighth in progress, I guess. Eighth one, I finished. I'll send you up after this. Okay, okay. Then I will. Ma okay, then please uh, share that with me. Nabil Khan, I do not receive any assignment from your side. Seth. Uh, I do not receive, uh, I just receive only these assignments. So is there any update, sir? Sir, I have done till one to eight. Ninth one I didn't get. Oh, you have done one to eight. Then, sir, please share the fifth, second and third with me. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, then please and do it, do this today only because I need to share the status. Okay. Uh, and the ninth assignment I didn't get. You didn't receive. Okay, I will again share that in the group. Okay. And Darshan, I do not receive any assignment. So please share it. Okay, please complete it. Okay, uh, Noma, I have again shared assignment 10 on the group and Seth, I have again sh shared the assignment 9th in the group. Okay, the number was not correct. So I have again shared it. Yes, okay, so all of you, I've, uh, I will be back in just two, three minutes. Okay, please continue with your test. 